Good morning, folks. When you start to get quakes over 4.0 in this area, it's worth mentioning. Russian news RIA Novosti reports that an oil spill up north is being contained very well. Mount Logan area is being evacuated right now. They are expecting an imminent eruption after lots of tremors. In Australia, blue-green algae is back again. In Washington state, more Fukushima debris is watching ashore. They probably shouldn't be touching that. There was a volcano eruption in Ecuador, a landslide in Colombia to go along with the volcano on watch there and the Popocata Petal volcano in Mexico. We also had a four-pointer east of the Virgin Islands quake swarm. Few articles, all links, and more will be below. A bit of fiscal fairness from China. Egypt has halted oil supplies to Israel. Uh, speaking of oil, Iran got hack attacked by a Stuxnet like virus. You should remember we have had a few little CME impacts. There are more to come, but an official magnetic storm is already in effect. It peaked overnight with a KP hitting 6 and is continuing now. Fluxgate magnetometer shows the disturbance in the outer magnetic layer. The induction magnetometer shows severe resonance at low frequency. Canadian magnetometers are about as choppy as it gets and the GOES shows it here too. The red above the blue indicates that solar plasma is bombarding our ionosphere and upper atmosphere and this spike breaking the smooth curve shows a flux of electrons. This is the total electron content. Ovation Prime shows these penetrating particles. You can actually see flux starting to die down this morning. We did have a minor CME yesterday fired off directly at the Earth. The eruption is here on the center disk. When we look at stereo A with the Earth in the direction of my cursor right here, you can see the ejecta heading our way with the same true over on stereo B. Earth is near my cursor. The CME forecast track on the Enmel spiral shows uh, a direct impact scheduled for Thursday. Solar watch is elevated today. We already have had one flare and CME on the far eastern limb, and the quake watch is about over. Tonight, as the sun goes down, Venus conjoins the moon. About 36 hours, and we're in the clear, at least for the next 10 days or so, but we'll take it. That's the news, folks. Be safe.